30th of July this year, the state government announced a proposal to merge seven councils into one Western Suburbs Council. A transition period of 24 months has been planned for the change to take place and it is expected that commissioners will be appointed on the 1st of July 2015. The current G7 proposal is being forced on councils. We are opposed to that, along with our neighbours in the Western Suburbs. It is too big, it's being forced, there's no natural association. We in fact think a much bigger council will distance uh, the community from their councils and be a poorer service. We are utilising all our opportunities to talk to the Minister, the Premier if we're able to, and also to other parliamentarians. To explain, we believe there are no advantages in forced restructure. The Dador Amendment uh, was uh, initiated by Dr Tom Dador, a Liberal member for Subiaco about 30 years ago that if councils are going to change their boundaries, they need to have a referendum of ratepayers. So the government wants to push through the, uh, the amalgamations. It doesn't want to have uh, too much complication with these referendums. That's why it wants to abol abolish the Dador Amendment. If it goes unchallenged and, and the reform goes ahead, uh, you're going to have a very large council of a population of around about 110,000 people. But you'll find that there won't be, and the evidence is across Australia, there's not a lot of savings for the community. It's just a different form of government. Well, there'll be greater uniformity in decision making across the region, and uh, that, that would be have advantages for residents. Whether it leads to a reduction in rates, for instance, is hard to say. The uh, supporters say it'll lead to a slowing down in the increase of rates. Time will tell.